Hello everyone, so in today's video we'll be talking about the Fallout series slash crossover with Magic the Gathering coming out on March the 8th. Uh, I'll be going into just into some detail about it, uh, some information and basically most importantly my thoughts on it. So hope you enjoy the video and we'll go straight into it. So first of all let's talk about uh, all the information that I know about the Fallout crossover. Um, so pretty much um, obviously as I said it's coming out on March the 8th you will have four commander packs and you'll also have the collector's packs normal collector packs that will contain 15 cards so uh, that that's it so it won't be like Lord of the Rings where you will have loads of different bundles and everything that Lord of the Rings crossover had a lot of different bundles and obviously that you've got the standard Magic the Gathering um, bundles that come out and everything uh, but the crossovers I think Lord of the Rings were the biggest where it comes with loads of bundles starter decks uh, scene boxes which I've unpacked on my uh, on my channel uh, yeah there's loads and you get normal collect you get normal packs as well which you can just open for all and they're about six or seven pound so it's not like that, it's exactly the same as the Doctor Who crossover. And the Doctor, Doctor Who crossover also had just four commander decks and it also had the collector's packs. So basically, yeah, um, the commander decks will be in England, in the UK, it's £50 each. Not too sure about United States, maybe about $60, $70, not too sure. But it's £50 each for the Commander decks and for a Collector's Pack is around, uh, I think it was around £20, something like that. Uh, 15 20 I think it was more like £20, 22 I think it was. Um, yeah, so that's quite expensive just for a pack, you know what I mean? So it's it's a lot of money for someone who definitely is, um, who, who someone would be like a casual at Magic the Gathering. You don't really want to pick up just a, a £22 pack with 15 cards in and the far as I know of you will get every single card in the commander decks um, so the collectors packs will literally just be the rare versions of them cards um, and that's pretty much it you like the rare version will be like you know the borderless and pretty much that's it just different designs but I think you'll get all the cards in every single commander deck and uh, they've released uh, a few cards as well already which you can easily just go on to uh, the Magic Gathering website and just type in Magic Gathering Fallout. They'll show you some cr some cards that they have already released. They haven't released them all yet but easily you can just search up which I, can pro I could probably put a link down in the comment section as well if you just want to go straight to the, the page of Fallout which I wrote up. Um, so yeah if you want to check that out the link will be below. Um, but that's pretty much it with the details. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, you know, they haven't, there's not much, there's not much in the Fallout series, not like the Lord of the Rings. But now let's go to my thoughts. Because <laughs> uh, this is the most important part I would say um, about the video, because that was just a little bit of information. There's not much information I can give about Fallout. So let's go straight into the, my thoughts. Okay, so now my thoughts on this Fallout and Magic the Gathering crossover. So the Commander decks will each come with 100 cards. Um, so to me, that's a lot more better value getting all the Commander decks uh, than getting the each collector packs. Because um, basically, yeah, so if you get all Commander decks, you'll get all the cards. Uh, so I will probably get every single commander deck even though I don't play commander I would just probably want the commander decks to collect all the cards and as I said it's a lot more better value having all the cards for about £200 than getting all the collector packs which you will the chance of getting every single card in them are obviously quite rare because you'd probably get a lot the same um, obviously you'd get better value cards because they're rarer cards different designs and everything but it's it's a lot to spend just for 15 cards and you might not get any very ex like you might get some good cards a lot of worth a lot of value but you might not so 22 pounds is a lot um as if you get all the commander decks you have all the cards guaranteed you know and um 
for me i prefer i'm more into like gaming and everything so i'm a bigger fan of like fallout than i am lord of the rings um but i do i am a, uh, a big fan of lord of the rings as well but just not as much as i'd say as fallout because uh, obviously there is some diehard lord of the ring fans out there i'm definitely not a diehard fan but i'm a fan um, so yeah, I've unboxed a lot of things uh, of Lord of the Rings, as you can probably see, as you've probably seen on my channel if you have looked. Uh, but yeah, I've unboxed a lot of like uh, starter packs on it, scene boxes, and all that. I'd like more, but obviously they are quite expensive. Uh, and you can just pick up a pack from Lord of the Rings for like six, seven pound, and it's just a normal pack, which you know I, I love about that. You know, I love that about card games, um, and obviously the other bundles of magic the gathering it's like their own so you can you can always pick up like loads of bundles and everything um but obviously the crossovers between like lord of the rings doc 2 fallout and all that you don't get as much variety usually like doc 2 is the exact same as like fallout coming out um you just commander decks and collectors packs that's it lord of the rings you had loads and um yeah, to me that's uh, it's quite sad because, you know, I love opening all these different things from Lord of the Rings, um, a lot more variety of options to get. Um, yeah, so I prefer the crossovers, you see, than the normal Magic the Gathering cards that you get, the normal bundles. So it's quite sad you're not getting as much options in these crossovers, but I understand it a little bit because it's not their own, uh, basically... Um, their law and all that stuff so I get it in a way um, but also another thing is it's a shame because okay I haven't played like Magic Gathering in real life I usually just like um, buying the packs to collect the cards so it's not a big deal to me but at the same time I don't play uh, Commander I've never played Commander and I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm not really interested. I prefer the more traditional Magic the Gathering, how it plays and everything. Like I play a lot of Magic the Gathering Arena and I also I just play traditional. Well, not traditional, I can't remember what it's exactly called, but it's pretty much traditional bits with like Lord of the Rings cards and everything. But one good thing is I'm pretty sure Fallout is coming to Magic the Gathering Arena, unlike Doctor Who, which is good. So I'm hoping I will be able to play like traditional with Fallout cards. So that is one good thing. Um yeah that is the main thing to be honest because it'd be quite sad that i won't be able to play fallout on magic gavin arena because i do like playing traditional but i i don't like uh commander and i probably won't play commander in real life so that is that is the main thing to be honest with me and i'm glad that's happening because if it didn't come to magic gavin arena you know you probably couldn't play traditional in real life unless you buy a lot of packs <laughs> you know uh, and that that'd be a lot of packs because you'd have to obviously get like multiple of one card so yeah that's pretty much my thoughts obviously i would like um you know more bundles more packs like lord of rings has um at least one good thing the commander decks ain't too expensive 50 pound it's not too expensive i've seen some commander decks go like 60 70 pounds like one the doctor who ones are like 90 pound so 50 pound ain't too bad I don't know if they will rise so probably probably better to get it before march <laughs> just in case they do rise sometimes they do rise in price once people know what's in the packs um but that's pretty much it um it's not much else i can say that's pretty much my thoughts basically comes down to oh you know i love that there's a magic gathering uh, like fallout bundles coming out and i'll be able to get them all not much variety like other rings wish there was a lot more the only collector bundles you know uh, very expensive wish there were just normal standard packs you could get uh definitely like a starter deck or something which would be really nice um but none of that in fallout so it's more centered around commander but at least it's coming out on magic the gathering arena which you should probably be able to play traditional um I know it's not exactly traditional because traditional is with only their specific cards but it is traditional but with like different like lord of the rings and all that uh but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching let me know your thoughts i want to know everyone else's thoughts uh but it's pretty much just a ramble video <laughs> just uh yeah i won't let it go on for too long uh but yeah definitely let me know your thoughts and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.